bladeless fans, also known as air multipliers, operate on a different principle compared to traditional bladed fans. Contrary to their name, bladeless fans do have blades, albeit hidden rather than exposed, as they are utilized in a very different way to generate airflow. The following animation will break down how they typically work. Air Intake Bladeless fans draw air into the base using an internal fan or motor, creating an initial airflow. Air Acceleration Once inside the unit, the air is forced up into the loop amplifier and is accelerated out through an annular aperture. This slot spans the entire length of the ring, creating a circle of flowing air. The jet of air then continues to flow over an airfoil-shaped ramp. Air Direction when the high-speed air jet encounters the curved surface, a low-pressure zone is created on the side of the surface that is opposite the airflow. This occurs because as the air jet flows faster, its molecules spread out more, which leads to a decrease in pressure in that region. The pressure difference between the low-pressure zone and the surrounding ambient air encourages the airflow to adhere to the surface. This is known as the Coanda effect, whereby the airflow follows the contours of the surface, allowing it to be directed as desired. Air multiplication As the accelerated air continues to exit the aperture, it creates a low-pressure area around it. This low-pressure zone draws in additional air from the surrounding environment, driven by the pressure difference between the low-pressure zone and the surrounding air. This phenomenon is known as inducement and it occurs because air naturally flows from areas of higher pressure to areas of lower pressure to equalize the pressure difference. This sucks more air towards the low pressure zone creating a more intense breeze. Amplified airflow Additional air is drawn into the airflow from the surrounding environment in a process called entrainment in a fashion very similar to inducement. The original airflow leaving the annular aperture combined with the induced and entrained air results in the overall airflow being amplified by up to 15 times. The result of these five stages is a fan that is quieter in operation and produces smoother airflow as there aren't any spinning blades chopping the air causing unpleasant buffeting. This also makes it safer than traditional fans, especially around children or pets. Anyways, I hope this video has been informative, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.